In recent years, food samples, much like the real Japanese foods, have gained popularity among tourists in Japan. This time, to experience the making of such food samples, we visited the Shokuhin Sample Ya in Asakusa. This time, we will be making the popular shrimp tempura and its accompanying lettuce. Although most of the food samples are currently made from strong plastic raisin, here we are making the samples the old-fashioned way, using wax. Shrimp tempura is the most difficult to make. First, we pour the batter of the tempura from a height onto the hot water, making sure there is no gap in the batter coating. Next, we place the body of the shrimp on top of the floating wax, leaving its tail just to pass the end of the batter. We then submerge it into the water, constantly turning the shrimp as though it were being deep fried in oil, so that the wax wraps nicely around it. Here, the tempura is complete. Next, it's time to make the lettuce. So using a ladle, we carefully pour two shades of white and green onto the hot water to create the lettuce core and leaves. Slowly and gradually, we pull the wax under the hot water. As the wax comes into contact with the water, the shape and the complex texture of the lettuce begin to form. We roll the lettuce into shape and have it to see its interior. The contrast between the leaves and the core of the lettuce is clear, a quality that could rival even that of the real vegetable. This time we experience the making of the food samples. Not only are these samples used as displays at restaurants, but they're also quite popular as souvenirs and household decoration items as well. If you ever find yourself in Asakusa, make sure to stop by the Shokuin sample ya and try creating a sample of your own.